Welcome to Numbers World. Today we are going to solve past papers of ICATS Mathematics Contest of year 2023 for grade 3 and 4. Read the information below and answer the questions 1 through 3. Aslam is selling a glass of juice at rupees 10. He has a jug of juice which can fill a few glasses as shown below. Question number 1. How much Aslam will earn by selling one jug of juice? So the cost of one class is 10 rupees and 5 classes can fill one jug. So if we multiply 10 by 5, the answer is 50 rupees. So Aslam will earn 50 rupees by selling a jug of juice. So option C is the correct option here. Question number 2. If Aslam has these many jugs as shown below, then how many glasses can be filled with juice? So we know from the given information that 5 classes can fill one jug. And there are 4 jugs in total. 5 4s are 20. He can fill these 4 jugs by using 20 glasses. So option B is the correct option here. Question number 3. A big container can fill few jugs as shown below. How many glasses can be filled with one container? We can see that this one big container is equal to 6 jugs. And 5 glasses can be used to fill one jug. So 5 6 are 30. So we can say that one big container can fill 30 glasses. So option C is the correct option here. Question number 4. You purchased 4x 4 times. What is the total number of x you purchased? So 4x 4 times is equal to 16. So option A is the correct option. We purchased 16x in total. Question number 5. If 445 is added to me, I would become 800. Who am I? So the equation can be written as 445 plus what is equal to 800. As the part of the question is missing, so we can use the inverse of addition, which is subtraction. So 800 minus 445 is equal to 355. So option A is the correct option. If we add 445 and 355, the answer will be 800. Question number 6. Which number sentence is incorrect? Option A is 8 plus 5 that is equal to 13 which is true. Option B is 13 minus 5 is equal to 8 that is also correct. Option C is 5 plus 8 is equal to 13 that is right. And the last option, option D is 8 minus 5 is equal to 13 which is incorrect because 8 minus 5 is equal to 3 not 13. So option D is incorrect here. Question number 7. So he has toothbrushes P and Q. Toothbrush P is dash paperclip shorter than toothbrush Q. We can see the length of the toothbrush Q is almost equal to 4 paperclips. And the length of the toothbrush P is almost equal to 3 paperclips. So the difference is of 1 paperclip. So option A is the correct option here. Toothbrush P is one paperclip shorter than toothbrush Q. Question number 8. Guess who am I? I am a four digit number. The digit at my hundred place is smallest one digit even number. And the smallest one digit even number is 2. The digit at my thousand place is the greatest one digit odd number. So the greatest one digit odd number is 9. The digit at my ones place is just half of my digit at hundred place. So the half of 2 is 1. My tens place number is 7. So let's arrange the place value. We have ones, tens, hundreds and after that thousands place. So if we write all the numbers in sequence, the final number is 9271. So option B is the correct option here. Use the following graph to answer questions 9 and 10. The graph shows the number of rubber bands each child has. Question number 9. Which of the following is the correct ascending order of children with regard to the number of rubber bands they have? So first of all, let's discuss the ascending order. Ascending order means smaller to bigger. So Amna has 24 rubber bands. Asif has 18. Fatima has uh, 16 rubber bands and Hajra has 23. So if we arrange all the numbers in ascending order, the sequence will be Fatima, Asif, 
Hachra and Amna, which is our option C. Question number 10. How many more rubber bands do Amna and Asif together have than Hachra and Fatima together? So we can see the number of rubber bands each child has. Amna has 24 rubber bands, Asif has 18, Fatima has 16 and Hajra has 23 rubber bands. So the total number of rubber bands Amna and Asif together is equal to 42 and the total number of rubber bands Hajra and Fatima together is equal to 39. Now we have to find out the difference. So 42 minus 39 is equal to 3. So option A is the correct option here. Question number 11, which unit should be used to measure distance between two cities? So option A is meter. The length of a door or a cupboard can be measured in meters. Option B is centimeter. So we usually measure the length of pencil, eraser or a glass in centimeter. Option C is kilometer. So yes, the distance between two places or two cities can be measured in uh, kilometers. So option C is the correct option here. Question number 12, which of these would be measured in kilogram? Option A is length of pencil, that is measured in centimeters. Option B is packet of milk, usually liquids are measured in liters or milliliters. Option C is weight of a board pin. The weight of the board pin will be measured in grams. So the last option is bag of apples, which is our correct option here. The bag of apples will be measured in kilograms. Question number 13. Amir wants to buy a cricket bat which is 30 cm shorter than his height. His height is 120 cm. What will be the length of the bat? So, uh, the height of uh, Amir is 120 cm and the length of the bat is 30 cm shorter than his own height. So, we will subtract 30 out of 120 that is equal to 90 cm. So the length of the bat is 90 centimeter. Option C is the correct option here. Question number 14. An ant has 7 legs. How many legs do 9 ants have in all? So 1 ant has 7 legs and there are 9 ants in total. So 9 sevens are 63. So option B is the correct option here. Question number 15. Arrange the below given numbers in ascending order. Ascending means smallest to greatest. So the smallest number of all is 500,789. The second number is 506,098. The third number will be 506,780. The last and the greatest number is 567,893. So option A is the correct option. In which emoji will come next in the sequence? So if we follow the sequence correctly, option D is the suitable emoji which will complete the sequence. Question number 17. Fill the below given pattern. So if we look at the pattern carefully, the shape in the third box will be repeated in the sixth box. So option B is the correct option here. Question number 18. Ahmed will go to meet his friend in the afternoon. At what time of the following will he go? So if we look at the given times carefully, option A, B and C is given in AM. So AM is the morning time. So option D is 2.40 PM, which is our correct option. Uh, he met his friend at 2.40 PM in the afternoon. Question number 19. Myra left from school at 1.30 p.m. School bus took 45 minutes to reach her home. At what time she reached home? So 1.30 p.m. plus 45 minutes. So the time is 2.15 p.m. So option D is the correct option over here. Question number 20. If today is Tuesday, what will be the day after tomorrow? So if today is Tuesday, tomorrow will be Wednesday and the day after tomorrow is Thursday. So option B is the correct option here. Question number 21. Fatima studies for 230 minutes each day. For how many hours does she study in 30 days? To find out the total minutes, we will multiply 230 by 30. 
that is equal to 6900 minutes. Now, to convert minutes into hours, we will divide the number by 60, which is equal to 115 hours. So, option B is the correct option here. Question number 22, Milan city has population of 55,634. What is the population of the city rounded to the nearest 100? So, if we look at the given number that is 55,634, it lies between 55,600 and 55,700. But as 634 is closer to 600, so we will round this number towards 55,600. So, option B is the correct option here. Question number 23, how much of the shape is purple? So here we can see that out of three parts, one part is purple. So the fraction is 1 by 3. Option C is the correct option here. Question number 24, if you have 3 by 4 glass of milk, what is needed to make the glass full? So if out of four parts, three parts are filled with milk, so it means one part is empty, we need 1 by 4 glass of milk to fill the glass. Option C is the correct option here. Question number 25. How many triangles are there in the following figure? So let's count the total number of uh, triangles. 1, 2, 3, 4. Then here we have our fifth triangle which is covering the four triangles. It's our sixth triangle and now we have our seventh triangle which includes three circles and our sixth triangle. So there are seven triangles in total. So option C is the correct option. I hope you like my video. So don't forget to like and comment on it and subscribe my channel. See you next time.